And really what we're going to be looking at comparing in this one when we're done are these two. They're the ones I want to compare. They seem the most interesting. So I always start off a truth table the same way. Start over here with my feeder statement, my, my initial two considerations, and I put in all four possible combinations of true and false. True, false, true, 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 false, false, true, false, true, false. What symbol is that one? That's an and. So when I make this column, I'm comparing P and Q, so I'm looking at these two. I'm checking to see what I get. Now, maybe I've already memorized it, or maybe I, I want to take time to review it. So I say, all right, true and true, that's true. True and false, that's false. True and false, that's false. False and false, that's false. And that goes back to what we were talking about before. How about this column? Not quantity P and Q. Close it. So I'm taking the P and Q, that's this column, and I'm doing the nots. So I'm just reversing everybody. So I come down this column, true becomes false, false becomes true, false becomes true, false becomes true. And that's, that by itself is about the size of the kind of truth table we're going to expect you to make. Usually two steps. Do a negation and then do a conjunction, or do a conjunction and then a negation. Do a conjunction and then another conjunction. Something like that. But let's, let's make it interesting. Let's keep going. Not P. So I'm down this, I'm going to take these two columns. Fill them in here and look at them over here. So true becomes false. True becomes false. True, true. And then I reverse the cues. False, true, false, true. Last but not least, this one. Uh, what's that symbol there? That's an or. And I'm comparing not P, so that's this column, with not Q, this column. So I can ignore everything else I'm looking at. I'm only focusing on these two columns to build this one. Let's go down the list. False and false gives me for ors. So false or false is false. How about false or true? Is that overall? True, yeah. True or false? That's an overall true. True and true. That's true. This is actually a property that we talk about when we get deeper into the logic and into semantics. That not P and Q is the same as not P or not Q. Because we have the same results when we look at the truth table. We end up at the exact same place. The good news is all you need to be able to do is if I give you these columns and say do that, can you crank that out? We're not going to do a lot into the specific laws and rules of logic beyond what we've done so far. We're going to keep things kind of introductory. And if this is interesting, uh, you're looking at discrete mathematics or intro to analysis when you get to the collegiate level. This is the only time you'll actually have this kind of fun in high school. What do you guys think? Questions or comments on this one? Things I can clarify more?